Your boy show episode numero 56 episode number 56 of y'all man as usual it's your boy brandon keep aka the range brother to my left it's your boy marsh man the menace you got your boy d johnson dj smooth the man with the money man you know what it is man you know who it is rob philosophy is rob the god philosophical rob whatever you want to copy baby let's get it man patreon and the discord mm-hmm. go ahead and hit that i'm not saying you two membership anymore i'm just like, <laughs> sure i told y'all before that spotify apple music but all of that, five stars, all of that. All of it. And uh, yeah, man, keep running the numbers up. Another day, another dollar. Let's go, man. Mm-hmm, Ultimate mm-hmm, ultimatums. Mm-hmm. Rob, you got something for us. Would you rather be stung by a hundred bees or have a poisonous viper bite on your dick? What the hell? God. My dick? Wait. Oh, because that means someone got to like mm-hmm. suck out the venom? Uh. I guess it depends on who's doing it. <laughs> this is actually this is actually valid. He, he's speaking on that one. All right. Well, let's say it's a big burly man. Come on, oh, man. Like, why do we gotta do all that? Well, you did bring it there. Right. Why do Why do you ask who's sucking it? I was now going to go the other to, route because I can't say a beautiful woman. Yeah. Can why you, not? Because, because it'd be too easy. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. It I really st- would. The question it is: would. Are you getting big not really? You still getting the, what? Like that's a question. That's a real life question, man. Flashing hard. Because the teeth can go through that motherfucker. I'm I sure. feel what he's saying. It's going through. No, I don't. I don't. It is it's going ridiculous. through regardless, but like, I feel like there's a difference. Because it it's like biting into a gummy bear and then biting yeah. into like a meat stick. It's going to be a difference. This is ridiculous. <sighs> is that not It's bad? not as nice you know a legitimate what? question. I want to take my question back. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Like, hey. Either way, I'm taking the bees. Yeah, regardless. You said 100 bees? 100 yeah, bees. I've never been stung by a bee. Either but you're not going to die in either situation. Okay. You gotta take the bees, though. Yeah, I take the bees. The bees? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The bees Because if I get my, my a flaccid, they, they big. Yeah, because, like, why did they have to go that route with the big, burly man? Like, how come it couldn't have just been. Why you like, just it didn't have that. to be a beautiful woman. <laughs> it's easy. It makes it it's easy. not. Even if it's a woman, it just would have been easier. It, right. No, it's not. Nick's not for me. Uh, it is. It definitely is. Get stung so by 100 bees or, or the dick bite. <laughs> what, with 100 bees? Because there's some pleasure that comes out of that. There's some pleasure that comes out of that. I don't know about all that. You wouldn't feel I mean, anything? I'm not going to say you're not going to feel anything. You know, you might get yeah, rocked. Like, that's like the objective mm-hmm. just to get the venom out. Like, she ain't, like, going to town. Like, mean, motherfucker. Okay. What are you talking I mean, about? I mean, <laughs> you make it feel like that's not going to make it hard, though. But still, I mean. The objective you, or not. If you had a woman. <laughs> you know what, if you had a woman's insane. lips on this around your. But while we're on this area. subject, though. Y'all niggas ever killed a bee? Yes. No. You have? No. A few. You shouldn't do that. I did for the first time not too long ago. A few days ago, actually. I had to. You shouldn't do it was that. about to sting my ass. I didn't yeah. want to do it, yeah. but it was threatening my like. I've never been stung by a bee, so I don't know if I'm allergic or not. Knock on so wood. I'm not going to find out. Knock on wood. You feel me? Saying that, you know what I'm saying? I was at my job, and it was rolling up on me, and I had smashed one of them boxes on it. I had to. Yeah. It was a thousand IQ play. You should have saw my execution. It was <laughs> Come prolific. On, bro. <laughs> prolific. Bro, to be Come like on, bro. this. That's what I'm saying. But people like, but like killing a bee. That's a real bro, like. We gotta say it. Take a real man. man to do that. We That's gotta like a save real the bees, huh? We gotta save the bees. I'm not saying to kill all the bees, but that motherfucker is threatening to sting me. But you know I what? gotta take matters in my own hands. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like people talk about, like, you got these thugs, right? They <laughs> they bragging about shooting niggas. Like y'all killing us, but you ever killed a bee, nigga? You ever killed a bee? No, you haven't. I don't want to hear that. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta really be fearless absurd. to do I'm that. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty absurd. You gotta be fearless to do that. Nah, I didn't kill a few bees, you and I'm not proud of it. You but like I will bee, say it was threatening my life. No, some of them bees big. Yeah, but you kill. It looks more like a wasp. That thing was pretty big. Oh. They send like a, a telepathic me- like message to other bees, let you know that they, they just got murked by you. So every time they come around you, they most likely come going to sing your ass. That is facts. They do. They do send nah. off the pheromones when they die, and they you get a pack. Bro, y'all just pulling this shit out, y'all. No, ass. no, that's facts. No, that's facts. no, no that's actually facts. Oh, so they send a global a global signal. <laughs> Not a global <laughs> signal. Like a global they, they a global signal. signal. If, there's, if there's bees in the area from their same hive, they will come. I saw a bee. That, I saw the bee the, the, the like two days after. Wow. That. Matter of fact, yeah, like two days after that, he ain't probably you get the signal. I was scared though. They're just like elephants. They're coming back for that revenge. They're gonna be at your funeral, stinging your body. Okay, I do know that elephants. They definitely got like you know. They definitely hold grudges. I have heard that before. Man, that elephant was like a hundred miles away from that fucking funeral. Facts. So 
Yeah. That's determination. He wanted all smoke. And what did he do? <laughs> what did he do? You said he shit on the grave, right? No, the he, elephant? He, 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 no he stomped, stomped on it. On it. He Damn. Stomped, he stomped on it, and then when they went to the burial, he came back and was fucking them up at the burial. That was pretty smart, man. Definitely smarter than some individuals I've met. 100%. 100%. Yeah, but uh, I guess I'll go with the beast. Ah, oh, man, because that's the thing. Because now if I say the snake, like, why it got to be a dude? Right, bro? That's right, ridiculous. Okay, 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 okay. It don't got to be a dude. Bro. Let's say... Um, Yo, y'all going to start acting like it's the let's same Let's say thing. it's a koala bear. <laughs> See, he th he so we thought he from, got it. He <laughs> thought he got it. So we went from said, homosexuality said, to bestiality. Said, okay, he gonna make a girl this time. You just said that's not the objective. The objective is to get the poison out. And let's say the koala bears are attracted to the venom that snakes drink because they get high off it or something. So he's trying to suck it out your peen. <laughs> Boom! Big them up. This how? has to be the most unfortunate how? scenario to ever be. Nah, because he played himself. He thought he was being a, he was being a jackass. Yeah. How some, am I being a jackass? Because why well, can't be a lady? Why well, I gotta be a man? And then boom! He thought you were gonna get that. Nah, he put an animal on you, nigga. So take that shit or leave it, nigga. Are you taking the big burly man and a goddamn koala bear, Brandon? Pick one. Kill me. No. <laughs> that is, oh my it's god. It's cock out ass. That's, yeah. That's always the third god. option. No, man. Stop no. That. What if you gonna do if I say no then? Nigga, you, you either taking the beast things or the motherfucking snake. If bites you say the dick, no, man. you just remain to be a black ass things? man. A hundred mm -hmm. beasts. That's torture. Beast things. At is. least with the snake, it's like one snake bite. Okay. Oh, I think probably clamping on your shit. Nigga, Candyman survived. Who? Candyman, he got stung by a hundred bees. Yeah, and that that is what the snakes do. You know, they bite down. They don't just let go. They be on that motherfucker. I guess the bees, nigga. Damn. Yeah. But if yeah. I'm a, but you said I'm not gonna die no matter what. If I'm allergic, die. yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna die. I guess, I guess I'll go with the bees. I don't appreciate that question still. <laughs> uh, I got one though. Yeah, yeah, you can wiggle out of it. That's why. I, <laughs> I got one though. Was there? So, would you rather? Okay. Get drafted into World War Three, mm. and you fighting, nigga, mm -hmm. or live a peaceful, quote unquote, life as a whore in the medieval times. Hmm. A whore, whore, like W H O R E, mm. prostitute. Yeah, wow. yeah. You you know you know the medieval time. Oh hell no! They used to come yeah. off the horse and just grab. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. I just I'll put me in the war. Yeah, they must. Yeah, they they, they, they definitely fighting the World War Three. Yes. Oh, I'm definitely fighting the World War Three. Are you telling me you about to be getting fucked in real by all them dudes? <laughs> okay, I, that just that just <laughs> got him. <'em. Got> <laughs> okay, I'm talking. Say it had I'm, to talking be about I'm talking armor on. I ain't no soft problems either. You could be doing noble women. No, no, ain't no yes and no. Is scooped up, fuck. Drop the fuck God off. Damn. Come on. That's all it is. <laughs> you, you might catch a few noble women. Nah, you're not. You're not. Because you're definitely getting picked off first. Man, this is bullshit. See, y'all always got to turn this shit I on. I mean, me. wait, 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 <laughs> wait. wait. Actually, actually, hold on. Let me, let me think about that. You know, that's a good question. World War Three? No, it, it's actually not. You fighting. World War Three. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, dad, yeah, World War Three. I'm sorry. Yeah. In the trenches. Be in there with that motherfucker. You're folk. saying this like I'm supposed to change my damn perception. I'm taking the World War Three, bro. I'm not getting yeah. plowed all the time. MP5. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. See, y'all had to take it there. I didn't even like. You said that, that's literally what you said. No, I didn't wow. say nothing about getting plowed. I said you wow. just. Oh, you you said what do brothers do? do? You said a I mean, like, you could be messing with some women. Damn, why I got a big tick? Why? Okay. why? Are we, no... are we the woman in this term or are we well, still men? Well, I in say this... right now, it can be women. It can be just women. Okay, nice, then I will not mind. Yeah, that's unrealistic. I yeah, not that's mind not, being a medieval sense. whore then, because I want to fuck some princesses and and and, and shit. Like you not that. fucking yeah, princesses, man. Yeah, but if you get man. chlamydia back then, you dead as hell. Like you gonna have holes in your like I don't know your scrotum and shit. Like it's Bro, you gonna catch be anything back then. You Wait, we're still a man. Yeah, you still a man. What? So he's medieval saying, man whores. <laughs> yeah, there's man whores. He's a medieval man whores. <laughs> that just sounds hilarious, man. That's medieval confusing. man whores. Medieval. That sounds like still. <laughs> but I'm saying, if you, if you, <laughs> like, if you got chlamydia back then, you'd be you was dead as hell. Like shit now, it's like that's it's just a bad true. couple weeks. That's just a rough couple weeks. Now back then, you see. But the thing is, yeah. see, a medieval man whore sounds like something that a king is practicing his fantasies on. Oh Jesus. Lord, because so, if we if we look at Game of Thrones, man, fuck the king, true. fuck the king. This is Brendan Jones. This is my scenario. I'm setting please up. Please take this and out this of context. One, please stay, take that out of context. Stop. Please but prostitutes, you have to pay for them. Male prostitutes. If you're broke, you can't afford that. In basically. every major, hmm. so it's gonna be for the higher class. So <laughs> there wow. were actually. Yeah, man whores was definitely for other men. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> never I'm saying, mind. I'm not saying that they weren't. Nah. You know, hold on. These questions. It ain't even fun no more. <laughs> <laughs> I, it didn't have to go zesty though. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't have to. It nah. didn't have, but it is. It but is, it is though. That's but not the scenario. Is. I was so I'm taking all right. That so war. the scenario you paying is you get to mess with just women in this in this yeah. mythical situation. You just get to have a sex with a bunch of princesses and noble women. You thought. Or fight in the trenches. Or it don't have to be noble women. You can save, they can save up a few doubloons and just get your ass. They probably still poor as hell. It's not just rich people that that get them. But if I'm only fucking with the rich bitches. Then I'm getting all the money, so fuck Facts. them little niggas. Facts. Facts. True. But also, if you get, like, the slightest uh, infection, you're probably dead as hell. That's like, the average true. age is probably, like, and they begin kidnapped and all this other shit. Back yeah. then? That's Maybe true. Maybe right. right. Man, okay, all okay, you gotta do right. is look for that nigga Merlin. He know, he know it all. <laughs> but you also gotta take the scenario, like, World War Three. it's too many bomb strikes and shit now. Drone strikes, all of that. So you're almost guaranteed dead. Like you fight, like you, you ain't almost just like guaranteed buns. Because look, there's always because you know it's this new generation. It's gonna be women in the war, right? You can get buns. oh the barracks bunnies. Mm -hmm. So that don't even sound, so that don't even sound too fucking bad. I might just go to war. Oh, you talking about you gotta die without a fucking AKs and bootays? I'm with all without, of it. A, without a with, with a heart on you. I yeah. might you know AKs got my bootays. shit off before I came out to battle you. Let me hear that bomb. Go off your dick flaccid as hell. I know. Hey, nigga, there's some kinks out there, but motherfuckers yeah. might be into that. What? <laughs> Let me talk about you, though. This oh, ridiculous. me, not me personally, no, but, you know. I don't like this. <laughs> this <is ridiculous. laughs> Both of these have took a, a very twisted turn that I'm not well, saying. I'm taking motherfuckers ask jackass questions, we give jackass answers. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. how I go. All right. Well, I got another one then, motherfucker. Okay, go ahead. All right. Now, this one's actually for someone from the Discord, so I'm going to shout them out. Shout out King Battle in the Discord. Oh, Y'all yeah. want to be on the show, either you can DM us on Instagram or you can join the Discord or both. Either mm -hmm. way, it's later there. Join mm -hmm. it. So shout out to King Battle in the Discord. Mm -hmm. So he asked this. If y'all got sent back to the early 1700s, how long would it take for y'all to start a revolution? No weapons from the future either. Never. Um, I highly doubt that it'd be possible. Wait, 1700. But you know, like... The future, though, you can't like bring no future weapons back. Right, in. I know the future. I know all of it. Oh, so we have the intel so the, that we I have right now. The intel that we have right now, we would bring oh. it back. Oh. oh, so I can bring my cell phone. Give me, give me, give me two. No future two years. weapons that could be used, used as a weapon. Give me two <laughs> years. Give me two years. Two years? You you finna, you finna lead that revolution? Give me two years. Man, I'll just say this. That revolution going to take just as long as it took originally. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two Because you know years. what they do to them leaders. Yeah. Dead as hell. Yeah. I'm just going to knock your ass off. Y'all ain't killing but me. But you know what, living. though? I'll be in the background. I'll be like, hey, nigga, I'll tell you. Y'all go fight. You could switch it up and not be on the front lines with them niggas and let them know, like, hey, I'm from the future. Nah, they're not going to believe that, man. Right, nah. <laughs> We've seen all those movies. They never believe, believe that shit, man. They never believe it. I'm going to know by like the dates of what certain shit happened. So I can be like, look, you feel me? On, on like random ass times, I can Ooh. rally some people. You feel me? Store up some bullshit and wait, wait, wait out, drag until that time. And when I got enough people on my side on that day, fuck the whole thing up. Okay. The 1700s, though, like if you would have said, like, I could have saved MLK or something. Well, True. That didn't come to Yeah, that's um, what I'm saying. I said you said the 1700s. Like, if you would have said well, I could have saved MLK, then I think I could give a better answer. But uh, I don't think I could start a revolution just with that information. I think it's I'm definitely going to be a fold because I'm in chain getting my ass whooped. Yeah. Like, they don't see my black ass and boom. Slave. But you could, you could fight the institutionalization. How? Because you're not, you don't have the institutionalized mindset. You just popped in there. You still have the same mindset from the future. Yeah, but they don't. Right. Yeah, but you can spread your influence on them. Right, I'm, I'm, but I'm going to be training cavemen. Hey, okay, cavemen, okay. That's okay, come and on. And the leaders well, don't give a fuck if I'm intelligent or not. <laughs> Nigga, they can speak and shit. Cavemen wasn't what? even speaking. <laughs> you're like, we basically ate Surprise. people. We <laughs> were eight people. That was crazy. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> that was crazy. Damn. Crazy, that boy crazy bro. as hell. That, that nigga Freezer crazy. for real. That boy oh Freezer for real. God. Is that not facts? Niggas couldn't read. Niggas couldn't write. Niggas could barely speak English. And like I said, the fucking leaders, they don't give a damn if I'm smart. I think right. what you have to do is- That probably piss them off. You gotta, you gotta bamboozle everybody. That's how you win that. You one yeah. man. That doesn't make any sense. Bamboozle, everybody. bamboozle how? You gotta, you gotta act like you want the slaves to be cool with the white man, but 
You know, remember, you know the future. Or you could you just play future. slow. That's what I'm saying. You play slow. Be cool with the white man. Get inside the house. You but can't like, train. His wife like, is going to fuck you, and then you're going to get killed. And but like Rob said, even if we play point. slow, that means we ain't never going to get the shit done. <laughs> Gotta play because eventually they're gonna find out. Somebody gonna learn some shit and gonna it's gonna be too uh, apparent. Right, dumbass slaves you know definitely gonna be yapping. <laughs> God damn, they just God. keep going. Ow. What? Uh, that is facts. <laughs> but it's just so dark to say it like that though. These dumbass slaves. Like, <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> yeah. hey, I mean, man. okay. I mean, they weren't. A, I got. They say, weren't all dumb though, man. Didn't have probably to be. a few like outliers out there that can like ride with you. Say, okay, no, nah, he's speaking facts. But we know how y'all are dumb as hell. But I'm not. I'm not like the rest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Man. But they'll listen less. to him. They'll listen to them. Right. They won't listen to me though. So how long is it taking you then? Because I'll show up with, like a lineup and shit. Like who this nigga with these motherfucking straight lines on his head? Like, we don't do that. Because they ain't have no lines back then. It was just you know naps. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, you gotta put me in the time period when like they trying to put the niggas on the boats. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, yeah, seventeen hundred. Wait. Okay. Either way. Yeah, never mind. I didn't really think about that. Could You're not stopping that either. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You heard my original answer. I said it's going to take as long as it took in the first place originally. Uh, yeah, it's facts. That's all I said. But shout out to King Battle. I like that <clears throat> one though. You feel me? Right. Uh we can move on a little bit though, man. Y'all. You know I be on the interwebs, surfing things, Twitter. On that hook. All of that. And I someone saw I saw someone say some spark an interesting conversation to me. It's not really like a big deal, but it's just like, okay, I'm just going to say it. He said, and these are quotations, let's not lie to ourselves. Stretch marks are unattractive. Cap. Crazy as hell. Cap. Crazy as hell. C-A-P. Can I, can I quote, can I quote somebody the that, that great that said something about stretch marks? Okay, dude. Cat Williams said, <clears throat> if you got stretch marks, that only mean one of two things. Okay. You was either big and got small or you're small and got big. Either way, <laughs> I'ma like it. Don't matter. <laughs> you told no lie. But don't everyone have some stretch marks to a little like certain degree? Yeah, I believe Because so. your weight yeah. changes throughout your shit. Yeah, I definitely have some. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got saying? some stretch marks. Not like here. It's on my left and the right ass cheek. Okay. You see, that was a lot of that was a lot of information. <laughs> oh my goodness. You was a black ass man. I, where do we go from that? Uh I'm, the point still. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Man, it's it was a safe place. You said the left and the right. That's two motherfuckers that thought it was a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> you said the left and the right. Thought we was having a conversation about that. Stratmark. My bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, but I, I mean, I don't. So how you know, like, you in the mirror over this end? <laughs> come on, bro. You ain't. Come on, bro. Don't do that. I see my body in the mirror. Yeah, right, you know, oh you know damn well you don't look through your shit. Mm. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, don't do it. Like that. Oh, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> don't do my man. But the, real, like the point, of, the point, the main reason why I brought this up was just like, yeah, it's cap. Like I don't know what's. I guess teach their own people like their own things, but what the fuck? It's what, natural. You know yes. what I'm saying they, it's just right there. Like I think majority of butts have them, and motherfuckers make it to seem some like degree. it alters anything. Mm -hmm. It's still the scam. Yeah. It and ask, if you ask me, it adds character. I like yeah. the I like the little tiger strike. Cause yeah. you can you can tell a story the with that. Tiger strike. You can tell a story with that. I mean, you get that shit from working out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I said, you was either big got small or small and got big. Niggas be hating. Hating like a motherfucker. Hating like a motherfucker, man. Rob though. You know we talking about we talked about stretch marks and shit. Let's get to something a little a little more serious, I guess. A little more serious. Might so, have people uh, shitting, man. Shitting they sales. There was this conversation uh, happening in, in politics as of recent uh, with Trump and his leaked emails and this laptop with a, a lot of sensitive information on it. And uh, just to tell y'all how grotesque the information on this laptop was, there was two seasoned military veterans who are now FBI agents that seen said laptop and began to spew vomit. What the fuck was on that? No Lord idea. knows. I'm telling you. Throw up. I'm telling you. It's the whole uh, Epstein bullshit. I think I'm thinking that's what it has to be. It can't be nothing else but that. I think it's this. I've said this for a very long time. Politicians are some fucking weirdos. Yes. Mm -hmm. These niggas are into some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. People say that squid shame, that squid game shit is like ain't no way it could be a thing. No, who the hell said that? I believe that. No, I'm I talking about like thing. the um the um the rich motherfuckers like and the weird shit they was doing. Yeah. Motherfuckers are like, oh, there's no way that's real. Yeah, Nigga, right. 
That shit is real, nigga. This shit real we just too hell. broke to even be able to see the shit. Because they said the motherfucking politicians be having them swinger parties and shit. Mm-hmm. That's just the vanilla part of that shit. It probably oh, yeah. gets way worse. Oh, Dungeons yeah. and... If, <sighs> if, 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 <clears throat> if anybody knows yeah, yeah. about Dwayne Wade and, and Will Smith's family, then y'all know they be, on, they be doing that freak shit too. I don't know nothing about them. Oh, do your I'd rather not brother. know. About do your them. research, brother. I'm I'd not rather not. the damn thing. Do your research, man. Too. I'd rather they not. swing. I don't Left, know. Right, front, back, all which way. Sound like monkeys. <clears throat> <laughs> damn. He said he swings, so I'm doing yeah. yeah. fine. <laughs> Type shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think this. <clears throat> I mean, the government definitely hiding stuff. I mean, of course they would. And my thing is, like I said, you know me. As I've gotten a little bit older. I'm starting to believe in more of these conspiracy theories. I'm just being mm-hmm. honest. I'm not saying all of them are real. I'm not saying to just see them and say, oh, yeah, that's 100% facts. No. You know what I'm saying? Think what you want about it. But I just, I think you'd be crazy not to question some of the stuff that goes on. I'm not going to get into no specifics because I don't want to die. Uh, you never know, they might hunt me down. So I'm good on that. But yeah, I'm just saying people have been corrupt throughout society since the beginning of civilization for power or whatever reason. So it makes me think that would change now. 100%. They've been keeping secrets doing stuff. I mean, we know, didn't Kim Jong-un kill like his uncle? I believe, yeah, Kim Jong-un killed his uncle because he feared that he was getting too much power and shit like that. You he already killed know. killed his dad. You know, like you already seen, you know, some family member, I, I want to say it was his uncle, but either way, he killed, he would kill family members just to keep his power in order. And like, you already know how people go. Like, he's the only, how you the only fat motherfucker in your country? <laughs> Everyone else starving, you big as hell. Mm-hmm. How the fuck that work? Mm-hmm. But yeah, anyways. Niggas, send us some shots, nigga. Come get your black ass. Nah, he some... good. Nah, he good. Yeah, okay. They want to let it smoke. Get that airstrike come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Yeah. Now, they made a whole movie on him. They fine. That is valid. That is valid. They, they good. The interview. Yeah, they, yeah, good. they, is valid. they good on that. But yeah, man, yeah. I, I, I'm not really surprised, bro. This is probably some, but to throw some up? crazy shit. To throw yeah. up? It has to be some yeah, fucked up. That, that reaction is... Like vomiting. Very concerning. I mean, Trump said it before himself. He said, like, messages or whatever that he has, emails, whatever that he has, information that he knows. He's seen terrible things that are ex- extremely scary, stuff like that. He said that. No, he said publicly. that a couple times. A yeah, couple times. Yeah. I remember Dave Chappelle talked about one of his, his specials and was like, this is terrible as a leader. Like, we don't want to know this. Yeah. He's supposed to keep us sane. But I'm like, we might as well know this shit, to be honest with you. Nah, see, we can My handle opinion. we can handle stuff like that, but the general Not population everybody. would go into panic. Man, get y'all shit together, bro. Damn, you're running for the rest of us. I want to know. Yeah. Hey, they like, ready about the aliens. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's just like if they ever, if if aliens do exist, if they ever said that, the world would go fucking insane. I mean, they, they, no, they, they've, they've said that they, before. They, they keep leaders saying. have said that before. No, they yeah, keep, but, they, ooh, leaders. But, no, they keep saying they, they have leakers? a whole, no, leaders. They have a whole space force. Oh, and you gotta realize words can only do so much. Ain't no humanoid aliens True. they claim though. To actually see this, to actually see some shit is a lot different. It's a live organism. If anybody on been on TikTok, y'all seen the video of the aliens? You don't think there's any intelligent the life forms that? I didn't say that. Been intelligent life forms that have been in contact with Earth that are more advanced than us? Yes. Have you not seen the video of the crash landing in Vegas? That's been on TikTok, man. No, nah, man. I gotta send it to you. And people actually got videos, and the police and the news. And in Vegas, the news telling police or telling the public like they can't go ask about no questions, they can't go around the area. Like I said, telling motherfuckers is one thing. Showing niggas is a whole different thing. Yeah. They put on a camera and pulled an alien out from in front of the White House, that'd be a lot scarier than niggas saying, Oh, aliens are among us. Right. Space AIDS, man. <laughs> it says space AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you met an alien, would you oh. like you thought it looked good? Oh my god! Okay. Would you hit that? I forget Bro, what stop. episode like it is. Like it had like y'all saying, gonna look for it. Y'all gonna look for it. I forgot what but episode then he was. Get mad I said about this. the answers we give him. I said this. But then he asked questions like that. What is with you, <laughs> sick-minded fucks, trying to fuck an alien? They what makes you think they, they have, one right there? What makes you? I, Brandon, I, you put Brandon. in my. I didn't say y'all was gonna fuck. What an makes alien? you think they have the even the close parts I'm that they match did. with ours? I'm saying if they did. Look, I don't know. I don't know enough about it, so I'm gonna say, "Hell, motherfucking no." Am I in love? What? <laughs> <laughs> that boy like fucking Rick. This nigga's gonna. I mean, get Morty. The mm. cosmic clap. God damn it! The the. Hey man, say what you want, man. Chlamydia but no, from I got the right cosmos. Here. I got it right. I got it right here. A former Israeli space security chief yeah. has sent eyebrows shooting heavenward by saying that Earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. The unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. And basically, they went on to say, he went on to say something about, you know, they want humans to have 
well, first of all, they feared mass hysteria, but also they want humans to, uh, to develop a deeper understanding of space and what exactly it is. So apparently, we don't even know what the fuck it is. We just talking shit. We don't really know what the fuck it yeah. is. Which is very believable. And they said, like, um, in, a, in a similar article like that, um, me and my homies reading that work, that, like, the aliens are so damn advanced, they don't even get mad, they don't even get mad when, like, we trash them. Like, if, we, if they were to send a UFO and we were to shoot it down, they wouldn't even be mad. They would just say, we're too stupid. So, like, of course we would react like that. Like, it's just, that's just fucked up, man. These niggas think we so dumb. Slow as hell. Dumber than a bag of bricks. I mean. We could shoot them down and be like, oh, that's just niggas. Or humans. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, fuck them. Like, you know, that's nuts, man. That's so fucking scary, bro. Uh, that's that where it slipped, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Slipped. But I, I believe in a lot of that shit. I ain't going to get too deep into it. But one thing we could say is like the, mar the moon landing. And like, whether you think that's real. I know, DJ, you said your dad don't. Think it's real, I, it's but not his real. explanation was funny to me. But it made sense. Well, I'm just saying, like, cause yeah, he was basically saying like, it. What the fuck did he say? He basically saying like, if but it happened, it didn't happen when it happened. When yeah, they said it happened, that's exactly what because I Because how the hell it take all that you know fuel and energy to get there? You ain't got none of that shit on the moon. <laughs> so how the fuck you get back down? <laughs> Would it calculated how to get back? No, these are these you are valid questions. Calculate <laughs> like, the amount on, of fuel. These are valid questions. It probably took how many gallons of fuel? Like a, a, yeah, I an unfathomable amount. I guess because the moon got less them? gravity. The moon, the moon got less gravity, so it probably wouldn't take as much to launch off. And I'm guessing, but still, it's like. But you still got all the okay, back. You still got all the back. Okay, but you have to. And all like the I way said, back. I don't work for NASA, so if somebody can break Man, that down for me. You then you can prove it wrong. I'll break it down right now. Oh, this black ass. So, I swear to God, really bro. He, he about to say some straight up you know bullshit. In three, two, one. Co there you go. Me, you know what I'm saying? But so basically, here's the thing, right? <laughs> so the gravitational pull on the moon is much lesser. Oh, so my God. Launching off from the moon requires a lot less fuel, right? And with the gravitational pull of the Earth, seeing as the moon is in the gravitational pull of the Earth, it's actually much simpler and much easier to get back down than it is to get up I because would, you're fighting yes. against gravity versus just going down into it. Facts. Bars. I want to compare his... Uh, <laughs> that was bars. actually much better. Bars. Listen, bars. No, bars. No, no, nice. no, that no, was much better than no, I anticipated him to no. say. No. You wanna, I, I'm going to compare his argument to a bag of chips. Back in the day, you filled a bag of chips all the way up. We just opened a bag full of air. <laughs> what? With no damn chips in that motherfucker. He said the same damn thing. He said, same, he said the same damn thing over and over again. Gravitational pull this. Gravitational pull that. Earth ain't got no gravitational pull. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. Man, we can compare it to this pen right here, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. It up, it's no. hard to lift it up. But if you just let that motherfucker drop, it's going right down. <laughs> but even if no, that's No, but there is truth to that, but, but it's like, I don't understand. You can't that way. That little ass little pod they sent back there with big in the back. And there's so many other things. I think like I think people that were actually supposed to be on the crew actually kind of spoke against it too as well. But I could be wrong. I, listen, y'all do your own research. Don't listen to us. We just some black ass before talk about shit. Don't listen. Mm. If you just listen to us as if we're just like D news outlets, you you know what I'm saying? You might be slow. You played yourself. I mean, we are the source. You might be slow. No, this is from the source. The we keep it real. We, this is our truth. <laughs> we are the source. That's funny. But yeah, that's that's that. Anyways, we, <laughs> we just opening the door. We ain't giving them everything. No, you can't give them everything. Hell no. But y'all, the BET Awards happened. Well, we are the Black Street Boys. So I guess we got to talk about this. Got to. Mm -hmm. It's just a wonderful day to be a you know wonderful time to be alive, man. Okay. BET is back in the hands of black people again. Mm. Might not be the right person, but you know it's a black person. We'll see. <clears throat> and after a ten year ban. Chief Keith was finally allowed back after not being on one and six apart. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. That performance was ridiculous. Yeah, it yeah. was pretty. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. What's the okay. point? I'm not going What lie. is the point of playing that? Uh, Chief Keith was just 75 of the song is bleak. Yeah, nostalgia though. I guess. You saw the people in the crowd, they'll turn it up. They were still turning up though. I seen G Herbal in that bitch. G Herbal turning that bitch. Turn up in that bitch. I'm like, okay, okay. I saw it. I saw it. But you just. Bro, it was ridiculous. No, nah, it really was. Because he was says he says nigga after every bar. And like, yeah, he didn't he didn't even try to like stop it. In that. Like no. he didn't try to stop it at all. So they have to cut <laughs> they have to cut the whole audio. They don't just yeah. cut like his vocal part of it. They mm. they cut the instrumental too, which I think fucked it up as well. Mm. You should just cut his vocal part. But I mean they didn't have the original like mix oh. or whatever, so they couldn't go individually and take I don't know, man. They could have done something. But that was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. But it was. Or you nice could have came see. up with another thing, like maybe you could have done what Kendrick or some other artists do, where they kind of they replace the N word with something else. Brother, mm -hmm. brother, brother, brother. Who the fuck is you, brother? Nah, it ain't working. It ain't working. <laughs> I would work. 
No, brother. It's a song. It's a song. No, no. The song is too much brother. energy. Brother. Brother. Changing that word. Brother. 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 Nah, it don't got too much energy. That changes the whole yeah, like that. You need nigga song. on I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of this man, Buster Rhymes. I don't want to No, stop. Right Buster Rhymes had a great performance. Man, I'm tired of it. Every time you see a, a Coyle Ray post, he's in the comments. <laughs> well, didn't Coyle Ray use one of his uh sample, one of his songs, or am I tripping? Probably. I, I want to say. Every post, though. But why are you trying to act oh, like busting? They did a whole tribute to oh, him. Okay, I we needed the old. We need the old heads too. He thirsty. We need the old heads too. You got to have the old heads in there too. If, if the you young had people, busted money, well, especially here, considering man. like this is like a rebirth. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So they did the whole tribute. I saw the performance. The performances were actually good in BT. The, yeah, um, they were. Yeah. I saw the performances. Uh, they were why? Good. Why did we um, let this shorty? What's her name? Oh. Red, red, sexy, sexy, red, whatever her name is. Bro, oh Lord Jesus! That's why what made me laugh. I keep trying to tell y'all. Why? Why did we allow this to happen? I don't approve. I know my opinion don't matter to most motherfuckers. Whatever, fuck y'all. I don't as, approve. As the black community, why do we let that? She came like, there just like a whore. I'm not gonna lie, a dirty one too. Uh, I said it, and I meant it. They said ghetto can be. You can fun pull up the sometimes. picture. You can pull up the picture. Ghetto is not. It fun. can it can be fun, but it's also can be a very much of a detriment. Uh, it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> but it that just comment she ridiculous. made was funny though. Like I don't know what the comment she made. She said she somebody passed gas next to her. Oh, she, she was going on. Yeah, oh, she okay. was like, "You dirty mother." I thought it rolling. I'm like, she just got it in your mouth. I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to bash the ones too much because she just she 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 minds her own business for the most part. I just don't like the the. the I really just don't like the the messaging a lot of times. Yeah, can we get yeah, that picture of her outfit ridiculous. pulled up low key? Because I yeah, didn't if you see type it. in yeah, sexy se red sexy outfit. Red. You might sexy able, red outfit. You might, to, you might be able to find it. Uh, uh, but don't put it in Google. Uh, if you type red. in sexy red, you might be able to sexy red BET awards. You will be able to you be able to find it. But um, yeah, I just this is something with <sighs> I saw other people talk about it too, and it kind of uh, <clears throat> I believe what artist I think it was Young Miami. <clears throat> she brought it up, and she was doing an interview. And she was talking about how, first of all, she called herself a whore. That was pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah. But it also could be self-aware, you know. I don't know her business. <laughs> I'm not saying she is, but she said it herself. No, like, it you could be self-aware. Self self but, yeah. but, you know. I appreciate that. But, you know, and she started to go on and say that her daughter, she would not want her daughter to be in the same field as at all. Rap right. about some of this stuff. Because they asked her, would you want to have your daughter be a city girl or something like that? She said, hell no. Like, she, had, she started talking about how she grew up a certain way, but she doesn't want her daughter to be... In any of that, yeah, that was the outfit. Uh, yeah, if you scroll down a little bit more, you probably see it. Yeah, that one right there. It's just like you can see everything. Like Loki, you know, you can't really see it too much because it's kind of far from away Chicago, from y'all. She looked like every other bitch from in the West Side. Yep, yep. Hmm. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Really but like pulling up to the B tours, B T was with that, and she put up with that money like it was a prop. That she had no bag to put it in, nothing. So I could easily snatch that shit. But yeah, I just I don't know. But the reason why I brought that up <clears> is because I think lots of people know. They selling bullshit, like, and I don't want to be too uneven with it because there's another side, vice versa, with the what shade of pink with the rappers and stuff, huh? That's oh crazy. Lord Jesus, she said it's brown. Oh, you talking about the okay yeah. other side? Okay, anyways, I, I wish we just didn't even know the information from that song. I wish you didn't say that, but <laughs> I wish you didn't either. It definitely disturbed me. <laughs> that was rather disturbing. But you said I was crazy for saying those. No, bro, come on, as in the shade. What what shade pink is it? That's crazy. Come on. Said, but the booty hole, so the, but the booty hole brown isn't? No. She didn't say oh, she didn't say my booty hole is dark 58 brown. All she did was she <laughs> like, come all on, she bro. Did, she said, wait, all she talked about was shade her coochie was? No, this nigga asked mm. what shade <laughs> it is. Bro. Oh, I thought she meant like her in the song. My bad. Either way, I don't like it, period. Oh, my but bad. I think guys. a lot of people know they're selling bullshit. Mm. And then, but the thing is, my thing is like when it comes to the bang bang shooting and music. The uh, slut me out music from the women, all that stuff like that, finesse nigga music. You know, it could be all nice, fun, and dandy and games because people like us, we can listen to it. We can listen yeah. to someone rap about bang bang shooting people yeah. and be like, oh, this is this is this is lit. But I don't want to go shoot no people. Right. But this is lit to get my energy pumped up. But you got other people, they can't handle that. They hear that yeah. and say, who shoot niggas? I want to shoot some niggas too. Yeah. That's how I usually go. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, they, they lack the cognitive ability. Or she she getting quote unquote slutted out in the song so. I want to do that too. Oh, she finessing niggas. I want to do them too. Oh, she got to have a seven-figure nigga. I got to have a seven-figure dick nigga too. You broke. Everyone around you broke. What you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, y'all can't all have that. If you're already on that level, sure. But like, come on, man. Yeah. And it's just, I wish some of us, because we could play games, because we can only blame the artists, people that do it so much. But at the end of the day, it is the consumer. I just think y'all as the consumers need to cut the shit. 
Yeah. Goodness gracious. Slow folks. Same with the motherfuckers. Like, they try to blame video games and violent movies mm. uh, uh, for, like, shootings and stuff like that. And it partially does have an effect on yeah. some people. Because me, I can play a GTA. I can shoot people. I can steal cars and not go laser side ahead. I don't decide to do that at all in real life. Other, other people do that and say, ooh, this seems fun. I wonder what it feels like in real life. <laughs> It's yeah. crazy as hell. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. Watch your kids. Watch yeah. your kids. Parents, closely watch your children. You're really not they, wrong, though. Lord Jesus. And, and see that 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 part you just said now. Uh, watch your children. There's a there's a thing like if you imagine a small child who's like six or seven years old playing GTA and they don't really get any attention from their parents and maybe they're a single child, so all they know is GTA <laughs> and they go to school and come back and play more GTA. Facts. So it just makes sense how some of that shit happens and it's partial blame. You can partially blame the video game yeah. per se, but uh, you know, niggas bitches. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> parents watch your kids. Like my my mom, she let me still play GTA at a young age. She's told me we should buy me the game. She said, "All right, Brandon, you can get this game, but don't you dare be in that strip club in the game." I was still in that motherfucker, but you know, like <laughs> not like that. I was that motherfucker wreaking. I was that motherfucker wreaking havoc. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. I was shooting that thing up. Mm -hmm. I was just being honest. Let's be honest. Straight what? I was looking at booty. I mean, you know. I had all their numbers in that shit. <laughs> Except to your crib. Let me get lit this motherfucker, man. GTA 5. Much like, hey, y'all know. Y'all know. It's ridiculous. Y'all make sure there ain't nobody around, though. They walk in. Oh, it's hell. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I already don't know why I brought that up. Yeah, I'm not for sure. Because yeah. it didn't like. Just yeah, watch your kids. kids. Watch your kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, right there. Watch your kids. Watch man. your kids. Anyway, y'all. Uh, yeah, but shout out to BET. We're going to see what they do with that. But I actually do. I was hating. Cause I didn't know what the BT Wars were even going on. Cause I don't watch. I've watched the BT Wars in a long, long time, and I still didn't watch it this year. I saw the stuff while they posted on YouTube. Yeah, one. But if you ask me, yeah, BT one, fell off. Yeah, after one of six park, BT fell ten off. years ago. Yeah, I mean, you know that okay, BT generation. fell off when like one of the number one trending <clears throat> things about BT is two artists that are dating fighting in the crowd oh, over man. over a shout out on the stage. That man, look, look, Uzi yeah. and JT. Now. I ain't gonna lie. God bless. JT, I'm sorry, but Shit. if I'm sitting next to Ice Spice, I'm folding. <laughs> like, <laughs> folding. Better not let your girl see this episode, <laughs> boy. I'm sorry. It's Ice Spice. I'm yeah, folding. Yeah, but that's bullshit. Is she not gonna let you hit, man? I'm sorry. I'm not oh, trying no, to no. be bold. I'm, I'm not. I didn't say I would. But if she but talking to me, oh, I'm, go, I'm going to entertain the conversation. Okay. Yes. Well, Ice Spice, oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's just a person just like anybody else it, who happens oh, yes. to have a, a elegant buns. Yes. Now I will <laughs> say he did overdo it with that unreleased talking about she got hair like ice, ice spice. spice. Yeah, she got a little fro. She a little ice spice. Ain't went, nothing wrong with that. I get CJT no. being mad about that. Nah, I ain't but throwing wrong the that. phone at the dude was mad. That, now that was crazy. Like that's what I'm saying. Like we don't that need to get crazy. too ratchet. Yeah. Tales of an angry black woman. We don't need to get too yeah. But we don't need to. I'm, I'm tired of you. Out there taking can we just pictures have with the bitch. No controversy in the show, please. But like, you're, they're artists though. Like, come on now. You're or all artists in the room. You feel me? Like, come on. See, now. I just feel like I, it was a line. It's like it's not like he stopped and it got down on one knee and said it to her. Right? He literally just wrapped it and then continued on with his performance. Yeah. He didn't put like a bunch of emphasis on it. But I will say, the Ice Spice, Ice Spice, petty as hell for posting that picture with that That's nigga what afterward. I'm saying, like. <laughs> Did y'all see? Yeah, she, she posted I saw a picture some picture. I didn't know it was afterwards, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the bar was mediocre. Enemies. Very. I feel like Very. you could have integrated that a little bit better. Man, he was just trying to put the princess of, of hip hop on. Yeah, or... but, but yeah, performances were good, though. I liked all the performances I actually saw. Yeah, I did. It, even, only con I have is that the vocals were just mixed low on every oh, single. Oh, God. <sighs> the vocals were just mixed low on every single yep. performance. Yeah. Uh, so, but besides that, it, it was good, man. It was well planned. I liked it. Bunch of short performances. A lot of artists actually showed up. A lot of people actually mm -hmm. showed up. But yeah, so BT, this was a good start. Mm, we yeah. shall see what the hell y'all do. Y'all mm -hmm. didn't pick them shows up. It stopped making us look so goddamn bad. Please. Ratchet, can we just get like, we don't need a ratchet. We don't need to be ratchet. We don't need to. We don't need to. Housewife and Lane or something. That shit was fun. See, watch. but that's just it. Like you just said, it's the consumer. Niggas want to watch ratchet shit. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, Lord Jesus. Can we just get some real shit? Yeah, we could have some real Our shit. Our best shows of all time, that's some real shit. You can incorporate stuff. Like, you you can still be black without having to be. Come on, man. Either way. Shout out to, you know, good start. But we'll see. Still very skeptical. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry. We're going to get love. That neighbor. We're going to see. Uh, DJ, what's going on with these billionaires, man? They swimming. Man, if you're alive. Come on, man. Unless you're Patrick Starr, you have heard about... Um, the billionaires that paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars 
to get on a pod to go, I guess, deep sea uh, exploring for the Titanic. They have so much money. Um, yeah, that's how you know a motherfucker got so much money. Pretty much, the nigga paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars to die. So, <gasps> sad part about this whole, uh, you know, man, idea and experiments. Apparently, oh, keep ourselves together, man. <laughs> the pod. They didn't even test it. Mm. Like it was untested. They didn't know. Like they didn't test the air supply. They didn't test if the, like, the pressure would actually work. Like uh, like the uh, pod would be able to withstand the pressure. They didn't test none of that shit. If you ask me, I have one theory and one theory only. Either the owner, because he went down there with him, mm. or somebody related to the owner wanted all of them motherfuckers dead. Because yeah. they're all billionaires. <laughs> they exactly. And you can't be a billionaire mm-hmm. without having some kind of huge stake in something. Mm-hmm. So maybe this could be a sacrifice on his part. I'll just kill myself, but I'll get rid of all of these people <laughs> that I can't stand. Ain't no way in hell you didn't <laughs> test it and you just brought these motherfuckers time. down here. I mean, this is crazy I mean, no, it, 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 it's that rather valid, actually, because if he just would have sent them down without him being in there, they would have been looking at that nigga suspect because yeah. now your shit faulty, but you send the niggas down in the water and shit, so you got to go to jail. He like, fuck that. I'm killing myself, too. So actually, it does make a lot of sense. Maybe he but, was trying to murder <clears throat> these niggas. But y'all forget. But and, then you don't believe in conspiracy. Theory. And I think I think I mean, this shit's stupid. This man. I think this shit's stupid. They said it was hooked up to to uh, uh Tesla Starlink. To the, to the, to I don't the, know nothing about that. All I know Starling. is I've been watching videos all week or the past few days so over like, this stuff. They, they couldn't have got that long. And uh, from what I hear, the pilot, is that is that the correct term for someone that yes. is the captain? It would matter. The captain of the submarine. Uh, the cockpit. The pressure controller with that little, you know what I'm saying, the Nintendo 64 controller. Uh, the PS3 controller. It was a Logitech controller. Logitech. But they actually yeah, use that. Fun okay. fact, they actually use that for like a lot of actually like military grade missions yeah, and stuff know. like that. So it's actually not, it's silly yeah. to see, but it actually. I got a few in my house right apparently now. Apparently it's actually is efficient. It's just everything else was not efficient uh, to say the very least, you know. But the dude that run it, that was running the submarine and all of that, he was crazy as hell. He was constantly being told by people that were like heads of safety or whatever that it was not a good idea yeah, to go right. down there. And he he even said himself that he felt that the regulations were too strict, which is insane. Too strict. When you're going down in depths like that, that shit will crush you immediately. People are saying they ran out of oxygen. They was dead as hell on the way down. down right. Because them right. boats that was over there hand screwing them boats. like. Mm-hmm. And they said most of on, his man. staff was college kids. What? Mm-hmm. I mean, college kids are pretty smart. I'm not saying they're dumb. But, but I'm yeah, saying, but, like... These aren't experience. Right. That's my point. These aren't trained professionals. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that was uh screwed by hand is kind of crazy. Like, you gotta get a little boat, something like, you know what I'm saying? A little boat or something like that. But yeah, bro. It is that that whole situation is and we know I Why do niggas want to see the Titanic? I mean, I would like to see it. It's I'm been not down going there down for all, over a hundred years. I ain't going down in that water. What the hell? Y'all crazy as hell. It's I damn near decayed. I would like to see Man. Watch the movie. So if you knew that you wouldn't implode and that you could, get, could potentially get back up, you know, you might see like the Mechalodon down there or something, but you know that you could potentially get down Leave there and get back up. You still go? Alone. I mean, not in that pod. No, I'm saying if you went like one that wasn't going to implode. Go in the water, period. Not in that pod, though. I'm saying if you. I'm saying it, that pod that wouldn't implode if it was yeah, like that same that. way. Yeah, you mean like a bigger one? I mean one that you one that wasn't going. Let's say you knew that wasn't going to implode. All right, so like a luxury cruise, but in a submarine. Sure. Yes. Hell no. You're insane. <laughs> to the no, Hell no, yeah, I'm doing that. No. That's, an ex- that's an experience. Yeah, Listen, yeah but you, you don't know what's down there. The that doesn't. You, you niggas bitches, man. God, what? What? Nick, are you serious? You, they, have you, no you, heard, you heard what they said. They said more okay. people been. Out of space than been down there. You want to go down there and meet the cracking nigga? Yeah. The giant the squid, my nigga? No, the the damn well his black ass can't swim. The Loch Ness oh. Monster? Do I what? need to say more? My bad. Wait, what? Nigga, the Alaskan bullworm? Aliens. Fuck. <laughs> it's like a down there. Atlanta shit. This nigga. It's yeah. aliens. Atlanta's, Atlanta's real, man. Bullworm. Kraken. Niggas. The Loch Ness Monster? Come on, bro. <laughs> like, like, like anything. I don't anything, like that. <laughs> anything like, down there. Like, come on, bro. Anything down there. Let's say the motherfucker don't implode. Some just might eat your ass. Bro, nah, the Titanic, the, the recorded depth, we have recordings of that depth, bro. It's Which not is, that deep. Yeah, like two motherfuckers been on there, though. That's not <laughs> true. 
<laughs> okay, I was in Take your black ass the down face, there and see the how many people making, you see that. It's just, just showing that it's cap. <laughs> Look it, at his face. Bro, He's like, tapping. He's tapping, bro. Go down there. Like, I know this ride is going to for a long time. Go down there, Rob. how many people you see down there looking at it. Exactly. I don't like this man. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't see why we give it that. But yeah, people do you know going submarines and jumping in shark infested waters. Apparently, oh yeah, because uh, you got that stupid ass kid. Um, this is <laughs> okay. Uh, now he's no, nah, he's a dumbass. Very... He's a dumbass. He, he was very yes. no. They call it what it is. He's he, a dumbass. He was yes. naive. He's a naive man, child. Stupid. No, no. Stupid. You sound like my brother. My brother said Patrick Starr was naive. I That's was like, stupid. You got to be no. That man has okay. So his pa- <laughs> so this kid's parents, he graduated high school and they sent him on a cruise with his homies. All right, so you know they on a cruise, they living it up, having a good time, and his homies say, "Hey, I dare you to jump in the water." Yeah. This stupid jackass decides to jump in the water. You know, my, I think we went to you, a school with a few people that would. Yes, we definitely mind did. You, everyone we definitely that's that watching, doesn't make them any less it, stupid. It, the people that's watching that the, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, that whole area is infested with sharks at night. Yes. Yeah. So, he knew. Yeah. Those wives yeah. are going to be infested. Uh. But it's, yeah, it's just a shame. Yeah. It's a it's a line of consistency though is what I is what I'm saying in terms okay. of of that's the fair. naiveness. Like, yeah, that's fair. We've seen. I I'm not gonna say we've seen it firsthand. Yeah, so. Niggas jumping in the water, but like, I almost guarantee we probably have more than a few names that we know yes. would likely jump in that water. Yeah. yeah. Said but, dared. like you said, level of consistency. Stupid ass is stupid ass. So. <laughs> We got a consistency of stupid ass, stupid motherfuckers. You gotta, you gotta be smart enough. You gotta be smart enough. You not in no, no. You not in no lake. You not in no fucking river. You in the fucking ocean, my nigga. Ocean, yeah. the ocean's scary. I rather go to space. The Atlantic is, is, he, is he the, the Atlantic is scary, he man. He gone as hell. Yeah, yeah, but not yeah. It's just, it's just sucks though, because I think us as young people. We do a lot of stuff that we're like, oh yeah, could have ended very badly. Yes, and most of, we're, I think most of us are just lucky enough to live not to live. live. Yeah, yeah you know, definitely. You know, to live through it. And but you got other people that just. But I ain't never did nothing that stupid. I'm not gonna front. I've done some stupid shit. There, but there's levels to it though. Sharks. There, that's there's the levels to it. Because if I would have asked, if I would say, Rob, I dare you to jump in that pool. I mean, jump in that water. You jumping in that water? Hundred million dollars. Nah. Thank you. No, right. I'm not jumping in that water. No. That's death. Infested waters. That's death. Hundred million. We're not living to see the money. Would you jump in the shark infested waters? We're not living to see the money, man. Dollars. Like that one kid, all right, rest in peace. D- nigga, do I look like Aquaman? <laughs> like, this shit's don't stupid. You look like Black Man. <laughs> okay. Rob crazy as hell. I don't know why he's entertaining this. Yo, he can't swim in the first place. Bro, yes, I can. No, you can't. Oh, I literally can swim. I'm the best swimmer here, matter of fact. Okay, I don't know about that. It's big fact. All that aside, I've been, I've been, this nigga on the other hand, I drowned immediately. Like I'm gonna tell you, right, when they threw me in that thing, I don't yeah. even know how I escaped. <laughs> oh my god! All I that aside, immediately, like, Rob ain't slow. He not jumping in that damn water. Not even for a hundred mil. Yeah, not for a hundred mil billion dollars. No, no. god damn, this man a fool. <laughs> You're, you're not living to see that money, bro. Yes, I am, bro. Oh, you're crazy. You niggas acting like the sharks just you're instantly going to try and eat me or something. So what they do when he jumped in the water? Are they bloodlusted? Are they bloodlusted? Probably. They're not, bro. You don't am know I that. bleeding? You don't know that. Hold on, hold on. So, all right, all right hold on, though. So is it, am I, like, jumping in a pool or am I, like, you know what? We getting off topic. <laughs> Jesus, Lord Christ. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, I want to talk about this real quick. Double XL list dropped. Ass. Ass. They beat me to it. They beat me. To it. <laughs> they beat me to it. <laughs> they beat me to it. I don't even it's, know why we discussing this. Is rather ass. The only people I know, Sleazy World, DC to Don, and Lil Tyler, and, Lil, and Central C, and uh, Glorilla too. I don't know I don't Glorilla. Really, yeah, I don't really listen to her. So I, really I only know Glorilla and Central C. I forgot That's Glorilla was on too. it. That's all I know too. But yeah, it's very ass. I'm not even gonna go through other names. I, it's just this might be the this might be the worst one yet. But we'll see. And I saw the freestyle, uh, the freestyle load preview previews. <sighs> yeah, that should look really? like hot ass. Fin- who the finesse two times? That's the nigga that it's cool. They do it. The problem with I do it. Fuck, Fuck. That's, that yeah. that's right. him. Yeah, I think that's cool. Right they here. do it. Yeah, Probably he's the only freestyle I saw Fuck. that looked a little that bit looked interesting. interesting. I swear. Yeah, because you saw. I saw you reposted too. Yeah, yeah. Bro. he's the only one that looked remotely interesting. I didn't see Central C's. You see, Rob Forty Nines. Uh, oh, I'll the rest of them. The rest of them ass. ass. Oh so my ass. God. Lord Jesus, bro! I don't care what nobody says. That nigga's ass. I know so many niggas that vouch for that nigga. So hard. He's so ass. 
Oh man, this nigga got my name. That's why I low key hate that nigga whole time. I don't hate you, bro. I'm just playing. The music good. That. It's yeah, I really don't have too much more to say on it. Like this is this this is a new low. I think. What's that falling off, man? Yeah, but what? Central C, it's your time to shine. Definitely. Comes when he passes. Anyways, this nigga, Denarius Johnson, your boy Thug. Hey, my boy. Dropped the album. Hey, my boy, but uh, a lot of people can't stand it. I think it's pretty good. I haven't even heard it yet, so. I wow. thought it was pretty mid. I could let it play. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. It's a lot better than I thought, because then everybody said it was ass. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to stand on what I say. I've never really been a, a big thug fan. That's fair. So uh, most of this shit is pretty mid to me. And so. that, uh put the icing on the cake. So much fun was great, though, in my opinion. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Yes, I really enjoyed, so, I really enjoyed that one. But it wasn't better than Gunners. It wasn't. No. It's not. Yeah? No. Yeah. Is that shit right <laughs> nah, yeah. It, it's, <laughs> I'm dead, bro. I don't know, man. It's just the whole thing, snitching, still rests me the wrong way. Because mm. I just don't know what, what the hell were you talking about. Right. You don't like the message that was portrayed in the album. Uh, I'm, I don't think that was the message of the, the, the album. I didn't get that. I didn't get it that. It wasn't line. the message of the album. Right. It, just, it just seemed like a. Just a Doug, I'm just do together in jail. Yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't really see too much correlation between. The yeah, no. And I, th- I think that that little voice message they said went out about Doug having whatever saying. Oh, we want to drop something to this to one. come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying we're gonna put out some shit against Gunners. Yes, I think that was AI or some. I just personally. Yeah, I mean, because that, that that wouldn't even align with the album. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. Either way though, that was that. Uh, besides that, wasn't too much going on in the hip hop world. Nah. Y'all, I got a bone to pick, man. Jesus Christ. I got a bone to pick, per usual. I've had multiple bones to pick this podcast episode, but I got another one, though. It's the last one. Why the hell I got to stop on the side of the road for an ambulance, even when they're on the opposite side? Thank you. Why? That's just stupid. I got places to go to, motherfucker. Oh, Damn. How am I being a jackass? It's not that. You're on the opposite side of the road. No. I usually, you usually stop. stop for like opposite 12 side. seconds, my nigga. Okay, no, but I'm on traffic. the opposite side. Why should they have they to stop? They holding up traffic. Fuck that. It's you niggas. Every man. moment counts. You niggas. What? Every moment counts. But if somebody in the ambulance dies. They don't. <laughs> They're on the opposite side of the road. I'm no obstruction of their way. What does it even matter? You get home six seconds later. Thank you. You make it sure like y'all be six stopped seconds. for 40 days. There, my bad. I, there's no possible way I'm obstructing their way. It does If I'm not on the opposite matter. on the way to work. They are going to late. save somebody's life. Okay. What Fuck if they, them with that left. I gotta get to work. Producer just asked think, what if he has to make a left? Turn on the jets. This is ridiculous. You heard these Turn on the jets. Fuck the faster. Fuck the life that's trying to be saved. I gotta get to work. You your black ass. You might not be saving no life. It might just be like. Your black ass could have just left earlier. You could have just left earlier. This is ridiculous. Oh God! I was in the ambulance one time when I was a kid. I got some stitches. And what if somebody got a hole in their lung? Then what? Stitches. Fuck them. No, it's crazy. No, 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 it's crazy. No, no, no. You ain't shit, bro. I tell you, these ain't shit. Give it I should have to stop, man. <laughs> yeah, man. If it's at an intersection, <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, my on. thing is, y'all not stopping for more <laughs> yeah. than thirty seconds, because the motherfucker's That's moving fast. All time, then you might, you might the motherfucker's you might moving fast. The if he's line. moving you fast, might get I caught. Have to stop at all. You might get caught at the light after that. What, what if I got places to be oh, and I'm God. already running late? Oh, Don't stop running late. Leave earlier. Stop being anticipating no stop, ambulance. No, stop you can't re- anticipate no, no, traffic. No, stop running on CP time. You and definitely shit. can't anticipate traffic. Right. Stop running on CP time. Robert Your Robert black Robert. ass do it all the damn time. Stop running on goddamn CP time. Leave 15 minutes early. You get there on time. Even if there is traffic. See, Daenerys Johnson likes to act like he's never late to shit. He be late <laughs> to shit. <laughs> Bruh, what I my job starts at 8 o'clock. My people grill me all the time. What time am I at work? 7.15. No, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Why are you nah, 45 nah, nah, minutes nah, early? No, nah, no, nah, that's cra- that's crazy. No. I like to relax and meditate. Okay. No more, no that's more different than, than. No more than 20 minutes early, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, and you can be 15 guess minutes what? early. Guess what? Guess what? I ain't never worried about no damn ambulance. I ain't never worried about being late. Yeah, and I ain't never worried about losing Not everyone's miles. meditating in their fucking car while it's hot as fuck outside. Or well, get with the program, outside. bitches. And stop complaining about ambulances. <laughs> I know your cheap ass ain't putting on that AC. Right. 
Send that hot ass nigga, car. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Exactly. Windows down. <laughs> yeah, that nigga walking and sweating bullets. Motherfucking windows down. deodorant all on the side Farting of his shirt. all in yeah, the, the car. I remember you telling me, DJ, that window down don't change nothing no hot weather because now it's just hot air. It is. That only that only implies when you're sitting still. If you're driving, it's different. No, stop. Stop that. Okay. Anyway. Stop that. That's still hot air, my nigga. Stop that. Your brain the wind is still blowing. Hot air. So we so it's so it's cold so it's cold, no, 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 so, so it's cold air then. Let me ask you that. So it's cold air. It's not cold no, but air. It's, a breeze. it's wind. It's a breeze. It's, like, it's, a breeze. it's like a fan. Hot it helps. Hot. So, hot. So, so a breeze. So if you outside, a breeze never helps when it's just a post when it's just still and hot as hell. Okay, yeah. Every once in a while. All right, you but there's still, ass piece of but, shit there's, but there's still days. You've never had a day where it's hot as hell outside and it the breeze. The, there's a breeze and it's still hot, bro. I'm not saying that the breeze is gonna like instant cool you down, but the breeze is gonna be cool because it's wind. It don't cool me down for shit. Okay, just... that's because you're black and your skin is really absorbing <laughs> sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Fuck you, nigga. That's funny, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny though. That's funny. That's like two twins calling each other ugly, bro. You black as hell too. Hmm. I mean, the same shit applies to y'all black asses, too. You have melanin, the fuck? I mean, it's reported that he's darker than me. It's not. It's really not. It's been reported. It's not. It's really not. I'm sorry. It's really not. Mm. <laughs> Stop. Either way. Two, two different types of black. Either way, next one. Uh, we yeah, spent a lot of time on that one. All right. So, and since we were talking about the waters, in mm. Europe, Portuguese, Spain, and I want to say outside... Ireland, orcas have been just knocking boats over, biting at boat rudders. I mean, capsizing them. I mean, knock them completely over. People damn near drowning. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. No, not at all. I don't blame not them. Not at all. I don't blame them. I don't Listen, either. Humans don't got fins and gills for a reason. Stay your ass on land. But they Facts. were not doing Unless you absolutely have to go well, on that mother. You know, you get pissed off after a while. That's it's, what I'm saying. It's but something always disturbing you. It's always something, something always disturbing your home. See, you that's like, that's what I told my girl. I said, it's, I can see, I can see them doing it. That's nature. And I mean, you know, it, they make we make it seem like humans ain't fucking with these motherfuckers too. Mm. People fuck with them all the time. They right. probably tired. His brother probably died from some yeah. motherfucker. Orcas are very smart. Them. For those who don't know, orcas they're yeah. I think they're the only sea mammals that hunt in packs and and use tactics such as knocking over boats and yeah, slashing right. it's and so i mean it's like, very i can't hate too rare much because most sharks are like really stupid yeah very very stupid it, and i and i can't hate too much cuz like you know we kill everything for no reason if mm -hmm. it just, just just disturbs us mm -hmm. so you know but they aren't kill, but they aren't right, killing people they're just knocking boats over and and slapping people okay. up pretty much all right mm -hmm. well okay that's okay even better than that. I can't be mad at him. Can't be yeah. mad at him. Because if somebody ran to your house with disturb your shit, what yeah. are you going to do? And Sit down. Right. And these attacks have been going on for the last... Oh, shit says two weeks. And the newest report is three hours ago. Right. So Getting smacked up. Y'all well, leave that don't tell y'all ass. Alone. Get your ass out the water. At least out of their water. Get ass out the water. Stay the mm -hmm. fuck out of I like of that them. one, though. Mm -hmm. And there's Johnson. All right, man. This week's finance friendly has to do with the job that you have. Mm -hmm. So studies show that you should leave a job every two years. You shouldn't stay at a job for longer than two years. Okay. Why? Because you have a better chance of getting a raise that's much more than at the job that you have if you just go to a different job. Um, you know, because they say, like, staying loyal, you're supposed to get, like, that percentage raise mm -hmm. or whatever that is. Oh, boy, you get 25 cents a year. 100%. But they say if you just find another job, which, of course, is harder due to demographic and stuff like that, but you're more likely to have a bigger raise because I can speak for myself. When I moved from Walmart to, hmm, I guess we could say my sales job, but I only had it for like a month and a half. But I was making a significant amount more. Mm. Like, I was making, what, 15 at the time at Walmart? Mm. I'm making like 20 at my sales job. And right now, at Amazon, I'm making 20, 70. Mm. So, I jumped way more because I was supposed to get a raise at Walmart, but it only supposed to be like 17. Mm -hmm. So, if I would have stayed, I would have only making 17 as opposed to where I'm at now, making 20. Right. But I do personally think I stayed at Walmart too long and probably stayed at Amazon too long. But either way, studies show that, uh, I think it said 80%, something like that. Some it's, it's, it's a crazy number. I can't remember which one it was. It's like 80 or 75. 75% uh, 75 of people that leave their job after two years get a way bigger raise than if they would have stayed. Which is actually kind of sad because the American dream is to stay at a job, work really hard, work your way up, and then boom, you'll be able to retire. Well, it seems like that's not the blueprint anymore. It's the only American dream if you're asleep. <clears throat> Don't, bro. 
That was actually I actually like that. That was actually deep. Bars. Took a little bit to register. I like that. Robert yeah. Anderson. I don't got no bars for y'all today, but uh, I do have something to say. Similar to what I was talking about in the last show about procrastination. And a lot of people have actually tried to switch that path and work. You have to understand that there is a workload. A lot of people think that you just work, 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 work like this on a graph. When realistically, you need to have those steps for rest because you will burn out and you'll see an inclusive drop. I like that. Ooh-wee. That's deep. Because people are going to try to work your ass like a dog. You just yeah. keep going. Mm-hmm. I'm finding that out my damn self. Yeah, I had to find that out. You got to take your steps to rest and all of that for sure. I'm trying to figure that shit out too, man. Mm-hmm. That's like why it. tonight, I'm I, I'm going to try to go sleep early tonight, but it's probably mm-hmm. not going to happen. I'm going to take a nap though. Well, right rest here. is more than just sleeping. It's just yes. mm-hmm. being able to step back and live too. Yeah. yeah. I almost died. <laughs> huh? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You remember? Uh, we don't need to get into it on the show. Mm-hmm. Hope y'all enjoy it. Blast you for a show. <laughs> Episode numero 50. 56. 56 on y'all, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Five stars. All of it. Follow. All of that. Appreciate y'all, man. We gone. No doubt.